Nothing lasts forever. For thousands of years, cavemen, philosophers, and scientists alike have always tended to extrapolate the results of the immediate past to the distant future. And well, this practice hasn't been very successful. Now, why hasn't this assumption been successful? It's because of a statistical tendency known as regression to the mean. This notion of regression toward mediocrity stems from Sir Francis Galton's research in 1886 on height being passed down through generations. Note that regression to the mean isn't a law of nature, and it might take a very long time to be noticed. Essentially, regression to the mean is tendency for outcomes to even out over time. Conversely, this notion would suggest that short-term success stories are much harder to maintain over longer periods of time. In fact, we see this phenomenon occur very often in the stock market. The stock market is a dynamic beast with millions of blurred factors that, along with human behaviors of hundreds of thousands of investors, dictates the prices of thousands of stocks and securities, which in turn are holding the wealth of hundreds of millions of Americans. So, the stock market is possibly one of the most intricate systems to exist in modern times, and thus, making a profit by trying to beat the system consistently is the holy grail for almost all investors. There are many stories of investors earning 100%, 500%, even 10,000% returns in the stock market, but oftentimes these results are very unsustainable. and. The same investors who earned these returns by investing in shady penny stocks with falsified balance sheets or through complete luck often lose most of their gains in the following years to come until their performance does indeed equal the market's performance in the long term, which hovers around 7%. A perfect display of how regression to the mean grounds many rash investors. How can investors use regression to the mean to their advantage? Well, we must consider the two fundamental factors that affect regression to the mean in the market. First, luck, which can be positive or negative, plays a bigger role over the short term than the long term. Thus, stellar annual returns from a new investor can be attributed more to luck, and decent annual returns from a veteran investor can be attributed more to skill. Second, performance that is too good to be true often is, and that seemingly miraculous performance cannot be scaled at all. For example, investing $100,000 with a hedge fund that claims 100% annual return would mathematically yield $30 trillion in 30 years, which is an unrealistic expectation. Reputed investors like Warren Buffett have succeeded in acknowledging regression to the mean and deploy one key strategy that, based off of regression to the mean, ensures stable returns that will often outperform rash investors and the market itself. Diversification Also known as rebalancing, diversification is the best way to withstand market volatility and prevent losses for all types of investors. In addition, rebalancing actually causes investors to invest more money into the previous year's losers, which may offer great investments at great prices. The two strategies any diversified portfolio must incorporate are investing broadly across assets and investing broadly across markets. Now, this dual approach ensures taking advantage of regression to the mean across different asset classes, but also different markets. Essentially, buying on dips in stock prices, assuming that the price will go up to the mean, and short selling on peaks in stock prices, assuming that the price will go down to the mean across a wide variety of assets and markets should theoretically guarantee a decent return that will outperform simply riding or holding onto an ETF like the S&P 500. However, it is important to note that return to a normal pattern is not guaranteed at all, as an unexpected high or low in the stock price could be a sign of a shift in the norm. 
new product releases could permanently shift the mean positively, while lawsuits could permanently shift the mean negatively. Even taking moving averages of stock prices across markets and assets into account, assuming regression to the mean as a crucial part of any investing strategy is a great method to ensure stable returns over time, of course, assuming that you account for the moving averages appropriately. So, if you ever do decide to use some of your spare cash to invest in stocks, always take into account regression to the mean and use this with caution, of course, to separate yourselves from emotional investors who sell as the market dips and buy as the market rises. Thus, by setting yourself apart with this one effective strategy used historically by many successful investors, you'll finally be able to start consistently outperform the market.